What is up YouTube? Today we are back with another reaction video. Today we are reacting to old photos that I have from when I started racing to where I've gotten now. So I started racing about three or four years ago and a lot of these photos go back to when I first started around 2020 or so. So I'm very excited to look at these. I haven't seen them in a while since I've mostly been focused on my outlaw cart and my micro that I've been doing right now. But let's go ahead and jump right into it. So this first photo that you see right here, this is one of my good friends, Carter Halcom. Uh, he used to run um, box stock, and that's really when I first started getting falling in love with racing, is going to his races. Going there, I just fell in love with it instantly. I, it was just a very interesting experience for me, and I really enjoyed watching how they raced. It was very, it was very fast. So this next photo here is when I decided that I really wanted to go racing. Um, we had this Polaris Razor that my grandpa got me for, I think it was Christmas or my birthday. And I would drive it around a lot at his place and I would drive around his his big old barn that he had and every now and then I'd throw it sideways. And, and then my grandpa, he originally had a trailer. So what we did is we got that trailer and as you can see right here, we are painting it, my colors, because my brother didn't start racing yet. And that'll be later on in the video. But we painted it my signature blue and white, since those were my two favorite colors. So we decided to do half blue, half white, and I thought it looked really good at the end. There's me in, in the trailer once again. We got our flooring laid out, as you guys see. And all the walls were all painted, so that looked really good. And then here were the first designs ever of the 9L. But right here is what the 9L's original design used to be. This is not actually my cart. This is my cousin Braxton Flat's cart. And what he did is he took a, is his dad took a picture of it and ha sent it to some guy. And he designed it. And I think it looks really good. But I think it looks really nice. And then there is the first ever 9L machine. All black with some blue and white streaks for lightning. And then we got some nice blue lightning right over here. It is a really good looking cart. It was a demon, which is the cart that my cousin ran. And he was pretty fast in them. I'd like to give a huge, huge thank you to my grandpa and grandma for getting me started in racing. It was a big, big deal for them to start my racing career. My grandpa's the one who got me started. He's the one who works on the carts, buys stuff for the carts. He's bought all of my carts and it's a huge thank you to him for helping me throughout my journey through racing. He's the man for it. And big thanks to my grandma for making sure nobody's ever starving at the racetrack. She's always got a five meal buffet to make sure that there's not a single person starving at the racetrack. And here we are at the racetrack with it. It was first night ever, ever in a race car. I mean, the first time I ever, like, ran a go-kart was Carter Halcombs. I took a couple laps in it just to get a feel for it so that I didn't go into my first race and mess anything up. Unfortunately, I ended up did messing something up. Of course, right here I ran into some kid, broke the whole front front plastic piece right there, but didn't harm anything. That exact same night, I finished second, and you can see my mom is very happy for me because first ever race and I finished second. It was a really big moment for me, and I really enjoyed it. Now, about four races later, um, because I only ran four races that year, my little brother started racing, and... I put my helmet on him. They had this little Power Wheels event at Sebastian Speedway. And we had a little green tractor. So we were like, might as well throw my little brother in there and see how he does. He ended up getting this little pumpkin trophy. And it was really funny because he actually was in the wrong gear the whole time. There's, there's the turtle, which is slow. And then there's the rabbit, which is fast. He ended up being right in the middle of it. And was was like slowly creeping around the track. It was it was a really funny moment. That same night is when I got my first ever win. I was about four races in, and my finishes were 
second, second, third, and then on that night, I got the W. The kid who's been beating me all along ended up having some motor motor troubles and pulled off into the infield, and I was running second. And by that time, I knew that I was coming away with the gold. And that was an amazing trophy, by the way, because it was the Fall Classics. First trophy I ever won, and it was almost as tall as me, about halfway as tall as me. And a little bit of sad news, but on the drive back home, I was as I was holding it because I was super happy, my dad, because he loves deer hunting, pulled off onto the side of the road, did a real sharp turn, and my trophy slammed into our dash. Bruh. He thought he saw a deer. Ended up being a corn stalk. I don't really know how that happens, but okay. And then, not too long ago, not too long after that, we decided to go to St. Louis. Now, this kid right here, in this '73, I went to the Daytona 500 with him for the Xfinity Series race. His name is Wyatt Miller, and I'll throw up a picture right here. He actually won the Tulsa Shootout this year. He's one of my awesome buddies, and there's also my cousin right there in his car. And we are a three-car group, and we went to that race. Some bad news happened after that because I ended up breaking my wrist. What happened is I ended up taking a corner, and it was just came to the checkered after, like, qualifying or something. I don't even know what it is. And kids spun out in front of me, and... I tried to turn and it put, and I was pushing a lot and I went right into him. And at that time, if you go back over here, I have an open wheel. So when I wrecked into that kid, my hands slipped out of the steering wheel. And since it was opened, the sun came around, broke my right wrist, and I came off the track driving like this. This is where the story gets really bad though. So I get back into the pits. I climb out of the car with one hand and my dad comes over here and he goes, yeah, I think it's good. I was like, oh my God, it hurts so bad. But after that, after I was walking around with my cast, my brother finally decides, hey, I want to go racing. So we get him into a new class called the Ricky Cage class. And it's basically a cage cart with a flat cart body on it and he ended up running that for a while that same year i also got my first actual sponsors i got this sponsor right here nutrient ag solution along with clark and glasgow's law office along with my mom's company the ymca along with market alley wines but then this is where my racing career took off these two cars right here you see that name? These are one of what these are two of Wyatt Miller's race cars. And we decided to buy him since he was moving up a class. So we bought them. They're both Phantom racing chassis. Amazing racing chassis, by the way. And this is when it really took off. We scratched that old design, took off all the red, and first ever 90 on the Phantom car. Had our Nutrient logo on there. And then I think that Friday or Saturday, we left to English Creek Speedway. And this was my first ever look down onto the track. Amazing racetrack. This year, or this summer, I'm going to do a lot of filming at this racetrack. This is one of my favorite racetracks. It's in Iowa, and it is super banked, and it is super wide open. You can hold your car wide open around that whole place unless you're in the 500s class you gotta let up a little bit but other than that super fast track super banked and it is incredible that's when my brother decided to move up another class so we decided that that other car that we had for wide mill that was going to be one of my backup cars we gave it to tate and we put him in his 49 because I don't know, he chose like four different numbers. It was like 49, 57, or the list goes on and on. It's confusing. 
And there's both the cars after we got both the graphics on it. Went with the same kind of graphics look to the Demon. But the Phantoms don't have a side pod, which we didn't really want them to. I think they look better that way. And we ran a bunch of races that year in those cars. This was my first race back at Viola with that car. We were extremely fast. This was also a newer track, so they were still working some things out, so it was real bumpy and stuff, but it still kind of is, but it's not as bad. And this is when we got our first big upgrade to the trailer. We decided to go out and buy a trailer from some guy, and it ended up being a really nice trailer. I'm pretty sure it was a Featherlight trailer, which they're super light, and when you're towing it behind you, it feels like there's nothing behind them. If you're looking to get a trailer, Featherlight, I would definitely recommend. And then this was a very special night for Martin Racing. In this photo, me and my brother are both holding up our first place trophies. And as you can see, both of us are in victory lane. We both won. My brother had like two laps to go and he passed the kid in front of him. And I led all of my laps because I'm a little more experienced than he is. But it was a monumentous night. There was fireworks after the whole thing, and it was amazing. And then a couple weeks later, Sebastian Speedway ran their first ever money race. And you can see me and my brother here holding up our checks. He finished second. I finished second. Mine is a little higher because I was in the box stock class. His is lower because he's in the R box. Now behind, when I got my check... <clears throat> the reason I got my check is because of a last corner, last lap pass for second place. You know that Carter Halcombe kid? He decided to run one of Flats cars, and he went to that race. I messed up at one point, and he went underneath me. And coming around the last corner, he made a little mistake, and I punted him, and I went right underneath him and got second place. It and then... The big jump for me, I got into my outlaw cart. And yet again, Wyatt Miller drove this cart. Are you kind of seeing a connection? Me and Wyatt are really good friends, along with my grandpa. My grandpa is huge friends with his dad. So we got one of his cars from this guy from these guys at Triple E Sales, and we took one of their outlaw carts to run the 250 season in. I got front cover on their English Creek Speedway live streams. So English Creek has this live stream thing. And what they do with that is they would film all the races. And you can go on to one of their apps called The Cushion and watch all their races. So when you'd click on that, there'd be these front covers showing off the track or, the, or cars that race on it. I got the opportunity during in, during Cart Nationals to be on one of the front covers. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. This was an awesome video. I, going back and looking at all these memories, I realized that time flies, man. I, the first time I ever got started in racing was from 2020, and we're already in 2024. Time flies when you're having a blast in, out in racing. But that's all I have for you guys today. If you like what you saw, Maybe click the subscribe button down below and give this video a like because I work really hard on making all these videos for you guys to enjoy. And it would be just phenomenal if you guys could click the subscribe button because it helps a lot with making these videos. That's all I have for you guys today. Hope you guys have an amazing day.